the Polish Second Republic in its first years after the uh, Polish-Bolshevik War uh, were in the hands of various uh, different coalitions, but usually the, um, the, the national democracy camp had uh, a lot of influence. So uh, the Ukrainians in Poland were not really included in, in any way in uh, local administration. Uh, there were um, many forms of uh, persecution that uh, stopped the Ukrainian uh, language, for example, from being used in, in, in education, especially um, in, uh, in lower and, and, and mid-education. Um, there were various other issues. Uh, land ownership was, was naturally also a big issue that the Ukrainians were hoping that there would be some form of land reform that would... Um, there was one, but they, they felt that it wasn't enough, that they, they, they wanted more land from uh, the mainly Polish uh, landowners in those areas where there was a large ethnic Ukrainian population. Um, so there was some discontent. Uh, however, these, uh, this reserve brigade of the Ukrainian 6th Rifle Division, they uh, by then had been fully trained, they had been equipped, and they decided in the autumn of 1921, the Russian Civil War was basically coming to an end. There was still some fighting in 1921. There was even some fighting in the far east of Russia in the next year, in 1922. Uh, but the, the Ukrainians felt that this was more or less the last chance of not having to fight all alone, but still having some allies in the uh, Russian civil war. Uh, so they la launched uh, another attack in the fall of 1921. Uh, however, it wasn't more successful than what had been done in the previous year in uh, the city of, uh, or rather the settlement of Bazar. They were badly beaten and again um, some managed to uh, reach the Polish lines to come back to the Polish border, but most of them were either killed in battle or taken uh, prisoners, but quickly after being taken prisoners being executed by uh, the Red Army. So uh, that was the last uh, part in which um, the Ukrainians were trying to fight for their freedom uh, militarily in uh, the aftermath of the First World War. Uh, instead, we might look at what happened to some of them, uh, maybe most notably their commander, uh, Marko Bezruczko, uh, because his fate gives uh, some insight into Polish-Ukrainian relations during the interwar era. Uh, if we look at um, General Bezruczko himself, he had a biography that is probably quite typical for um, many of the men of the, uh, of, of the Ukrainian 6th Rifle Division and other Ukrainians who fought uh, on the side of the Poles during the Polish-Bolshevik War. Uh, most of the men from the Ukrainian 6th uh, Sich uh, Rifle Division had had their background in the Austro-Hungarian army, uh, in the Ukrainian units that were uh, formed there. Uh, however, there was a certain influx of, um, of Ukrainians who had uh, fought in the Tsarist uh, Russian army during the Great War. Uh, Marko Bezruczko was uh, one of those who had been educated in, or brought up first in what was the Tsarist Russian Empire, uh, later uh, was also given a military education um, in the Russian army. He was born in uh, 1883 in uh, the city of Tokmak, which today is uh, best known for being um, the next large city uh, which the Ukrainian army uh, is currently pushing for. There is this offensive that probably a lot of people have heard uh, that is taking place in the vicinity of the village of Robotina at, at the moment. From Robotina there's another 20 kilometers or so to reach the, the city of Tokmak. Uh, once you reach the city of Tokmak, uh, your conventional normal artillery uh, is able to, um, to really pounce on the Russian lines that are uh, going uh, between east and west from Crimea to uh, Mariupol and, and what is uh, the real Russia. Uh, beyond Mariupol, of course, because the Russians, unfortunately, don't know where their borders end. <laughs> um, and, and then you have, uh, within Heimars range from Tokmak, you can reach all the way down to, uh, to the coast, 
uh, making um, logistics between Crimea and uh, the parts that are, are of occupied Ukraine but are in the east, around Mariupol, uh, much more difficult. So the city of Tokmak is really uh, a crucial uh, goal for the Ukrainian army in the upcoming weeks and months. Uh, and that is where uh, Marko Bezruchko was, was born. So uh, in a region that was contested uh, over the previous centuries, but back in 1883 when he was born was naturally firmly in the hands of the Russian Empire. Uh